Hey everyone, Alex from Computer Headquarters here and we've got another big video here. Today's theme is EVJ and I bet you a lot of people that are watching this video are also big Linus Tech Tips fans. Unfortunately, they got their video out before we did. Uh, we recorded most of this footage and built most of this computer back in August and September of 2023, but because of the way that we're doing the series where we wanted everything to line up back to back to back, we didn't get a video edited and finished until today, which is, uh, I'm doing this on March 15th. You'll see this, I think, on March 20th. Um, in any case, their video came out first. It was, I believe, in January of 2024, and they beat us to the punch. And the big surprise that we did in our video, they did the same big surprise, which kind of sucks for us. But the good news is their video that they did, their EVJ build, went a completely different direction. Uh, they went for... I, if I remember correctly, like all top of the end EVJ stuff, even like, for instance, the motherboard was, I think a Z690 or Z790, something more modern. Uh, whereas we went for what we consider to be the coolest EVJ parts of all time, uh, and not just the most new stuff, but over over the period of time, we, we try to get that that stuff that was the coolest. And we went with a theme, with a, a kind of like a gold theme to go along with it. Um, and we also went with custom water loop instead of AIO coolers. So um, I've got the browser open here so you guys can see this was just me starting to remind myself, okay, let's talk about the Linus thing. And we're going to go through all the parts. And then after I'm done talking about all the parts that are in this build, uh, we're going to jump into some time lapse of us building the computer. And then finally, the, the juicy part was seeing the end result of the build, what it looks like. And it's a uh, uh, spoiler alert. It's pretty pretty sweet it looks it's probably one of the coolest maybe the coolest looking build that we built on this build series so far um, but let's talk about the parts um, yeah so we're using the Intel Xeon W3175X processor this is kind of a really weird processor that came out with this back in 2018 they thought in sorry that they being Intel thought this was gonna be like a game changer for gaming it was also three thousand dollars for just the CPU which was, I think a lot of people are pretty annoyed or mad about that. Um, it was supposed to be enthusiast class, but I mean, it was like enthusiast times a thousand. And you know, that's just the CPU. And then if you look at the motherboards that came out to go with this, which were, were the SR3 Dark, this motherboard right here, um, and also the Asus Dominus Extreme, those motherboards were like close to $2,000 each. So you're talking about like, you already spent $5,000 on just the CPU and the motherboard. You haven't even started the rest of it. You're talking about kind of like a $10,000 PC back then. And very shortly after the CPU came out, um, it was, I think, less than a year, AMD came out with the uh, Ryzen 9 3950X, which was a 16 core processor that basically ran circles around the 3175X while costing less than one third of it. Um, it was seven, $750 at launch, whereas the 3175X was three grand. I mean, that didn't go very well for Intel. And as you guys know, like, that kind of started some of the downward things going on with Intel while things going upward for AMD. Um, anyway, let's try to keep this moving here. Um, oh, by the way, also, if you see us building and you're like zooming in on things and you want to call us out for something, most of the build that you'll see on the um, time lapse was a Xeon Gold 5122, which we were using just as a testing CPU while we're waiting for our 3175X to come in from overseas. It took a while for it to ship to us. and. Um, we got a really good price on the 3175X. We didn't pay $3,000, okay? We would, we're not that dumb. Um, anyway, as far as the CPU cooler goes, it's a water block and it's something called the Alpha Cool Ice Bar Pro ES. Um, and it has, the, it has a pump and a small reservoir built into the water block. And uh, unfortunately, like a lot of the notes that I talked about it when I'm building it, you're not gonna hear me talking because we're gonna time lapse it, but this thing did not work well at all. Um, this, the pump, I should say. So we ended up having to get a second pump in the loop just to get the, the water wouldn't, when I say it doesn't, didn't work, the water didn't flow at all. It, it was stagnant water. It could not push the water through the system. So we had to get another pump in conjunction and then things got better. So um, I'll talk about that pump in a minute, but we had the SR3 dark motherboard. Uh, just a quick note, we are actually selling these on Amazon. We're the one selling it for 600 bucks. You can see right here, it says computer headquarters, Inc. That's us. Um, we got 40 something of these from the Artesian Builds bankruptcy. It was a surprise. It was not on the spreadsheet. We were, we were not expecting them. 
And uh, my understanding is they're probably some of the last units available in the United States. This, is a, this isn't a motherboard I would recommend someone buying to actually use. This is a motherboard you would buy and put on the wall as like a piece of art. It is, in my opinion, the coolest looking motherboard of all time. Um, the gold in this picture, you can't really tell because it's a picture, but it's actually like real gold looking. It shines, it's beautiful. It is the most beautiful motherboard. Um, so that's why I felt like we had to use it versus something like a Z690 or Z790. <clears throat> Plus there's a story behind it. The Artesian builds thing kind of has a correlation. So it all came together, EVGA, uh, this motherboard in a gold theme. Um, moving on with that gold theme, we have 96 gigs of G Scale Trident Z Royal RAM, and it's the gold colored RAM to go along with the gold theme. So it's six sticks, 16 gigs per per stick, and we did not pay a high price like this. We didn't spend $300 on the RAM. Um, we got the sticks for really cheap through a supplier who had them as customer returns. They were untested as is, and we tested them, and they were good, and we put them in. Um, so. Uh, that was our RAM. And then th here's something where we kind of went off the rails a little bit. Um, we put in two NVIDIA Titan RTX 24 gig graphics cards. These are still very valuable selling at anywhere from $800 or more, even on eBay used. Um, the reason why we did this is because this was from the same era as the motherboard and CPU and because of the gold color. And on top of that, we had a SLI slash uh, NVLink matching everything matched and it just we felt like we had to do it for the color um and there is even a story behind one of the titan rtx's we made a youtube video about it years ago where we kind of got scammed where the titan rtx wasn't a real titan rtx it was actually a 2080 ti and someone had removed all of the fan shrouds and back plates and stuff off of a titan rtx and put it onto a 2080 ti and returned it probably somewhere at some point as a titan rtx to get basically steal money in a way um, and we got our money back so we didn't get truly scammed but it was it's a funny story and you can look for that on our YouTube channel if you want to see it but um, it got integrated into this build which was kind of a nice integration for us uh, moving on with all that with two big RTX Titans and then a, a crazy hungry uh, 26 core CPU you can imagine this is a pretty power hungry computer so we went with the EVJ Supernova 1600 G2 which actually came from a mining rig that, so we kind of got this for free in some way, or we got it really cheap, I can't remember what our cost was on it, but it was gross and dirty, we had to clean it, and we have another YouTube video on our channel about us going through these dirty mining rigs that this came from. Um, and you can check that out too if you go look at our other videos. And then next up, the case. The case is really awesome. This is the EVJ DG85. E EVJ did not make very many cases. Uh, their craziest case they ever made was actually a carbon fiber base case. Don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. I tried to buy one a long time ago. EVJ became increasingly difficult trying to get a hold of them for that case. And it was such a ripoff that I didn't really want to support it. And considering that we're going with an older processor motherboard combination, I just felt like the DG85 was the right fit. Hopefully that makes sense. Also, this picture looks like it's not that big of a case. The thing is massive. You'll probably see it when it's on the desk. It'll make more sense. Um, but let's keep moving. Uh, we use the EKWB, EK Quantum Kinetic. TBE 300 D5, geez, that was a crazy long number, uh, part number or description here, but it's a pump reservoir combination. It has RGB and all sorts of other stuff, but I'd use this on another build. They work great. And when I was having problems with this alpha cool, not pumping the water correctly, I just was like, you know what? Let's just, I already had one of these in stock. Let's use it and see if it fixes the problem and boom, immediately fixed the problem. So we kept it in the system. Um, we uh, like to talk about chairs a lot on this channel and this, this uh, build, we are using a play seat office chair. It's the Alcantara version. And there's another story behind this. I don't think I ever released the video. I can't remember, but we basically kind of got scammed on this too, because play seat is selling this chair as an Alcantara chair. And if you Google Alcantara, there's a whole thing about Alcantara, but it has to be from Italy and all these things. And it clearly is not Alcantara. They're liars. They're, they're thieves. This company play seat, I do not like them, uh, you know, but, but I shouldn't say that because they did give me a, they gave me a full refund and did not, did not take the chair back. Um, so at least that happened and we still have the chair, but it, there's a variety of reasons why you should never buy this chair. Um, so I'm gonna keep moving. Uh, we have the EVJ Z15 RGB gaming keyboard with the Kale Speed Silver switches. Um, and this is a really nice keyboard. Uh, I think EVJ should 
they're, they did a pretty good job on a lot of their peripherals and uh, hopefully they continue that even now that they're not selling graphics cards. Similarly, we got the EVJ X20, also I think a very nice feeling gaming mouse with a lot of features for an insanely cheap price right now, 18 bucks. Might as well just go out and buy one and see. I mean, you get it for 13 open box. Um, I think this is a good deal and uh, you should try one if you want to just have an extra mouse laying around at your house. 18 bucks for a brand new one. Um, anyway, a couple of things I don't have here uh, listed on Windows um, are these tabs, I should say. Uh, we use the one terabyte NVMe SSD. Um, we have gold sleeve extension cables. You'll see those, they look awesome. We have Bits Power Gold uh, fittings. And of course, they have a 360 millimeter radiator and a uh, carbon fiber table. I think I did mention that actually. So any case, let's wrap that up. Let's jump into some time lapse and get to the juicy stuff.
Well guys, it's been, I think, probably a month since I first started building this computer and we've built a bunch of other things and made a bunch of progress in this room and I had a surgery and all sorts of stuff. It's been, yeah, it's it's been going on for a while, but it's done. It's great. Um, I want to show you guys the inside. And we actually need to still peel off the window. I can get this. Uh, which one you wow, this like is a more. very thick we will not and hard to peel right window sticker EBJ thing. Morris, protector. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got one there. So it say, looks like we have one on the outside um, as well. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Uh, we'll see you on the next one tomorrow. All right, here's the final result, everyone. Oh yeah, that's much better. And I think that this sticker isn't gonna make the cut. Hopefully, it doesn't leave a bunch of residue. Peel it off. Uh, logo Titan there is the Scam 2080 Ti, and uh, we ended up having to go with the EK Reservoir because of the Alpha Cool. This is a uh, like a ten-year-old sticker. So it's ten-year-old adhesive. Monitor all working here. We got the keyboard and mouse, the X20 mouse, Z15 keyboard. I mentioned we have this play seat here. Oh, that, it's almost done. Um, I started uh, oh man. Okay, we'll have to clean that up. Um, so let's take a look inside. That looks a lot better though now that we have the stuff off. It looks really good. Very blingy. This is a very bling bling system. Gold everywhere. Uh, we have this like goldish, you know, color that's on the Titans. Um, looks like the, type, the top one's gonna be very star for air. Uh, well, we may, who knows, maybe we'll end up moving this one down a slot or something in the future. They're not water cooled so we can change them. We have the G-Skill Trident Z RAM, very blingy. Matches the bling bling all over the motherboard. There's gold all over the motherboard. We have gold fittings everywhere. Uh, clear clear uh, water in the system. Um, we have an EK uh, quantum reservoir in now, and we 3D printed a bracket to hold it onto the front. So yeah, everything is looking really good. We even have like all gold cables. Look at this. There's the 24 pin and four 8 pins, all gold extension cables and then we have all gold extension cables on the video cards we even have the matching sli uh high bit or nv nv link adapter so um i do like how it turned out and i don't remember it's because it's been a while we we had a bunch of problems with this build mainly the pump on this alpha cool unit right here wasn't strong enough to push water through the system i'm not really sure why it should have been fine uh we ended up integrating the EK Quantum syst uh, system here, and it has its own like D5 pump or whatever built into it, and now everything is great. That pump's super strong. So I think this pump is actually pumping with that pump, and it's just like really weak, but when it's getting the assistance from the other one, it's it's actually helping, and it's moving the water through really, really efficiently. Um, and the temperatures were like in the 20s, I think I saw at one point. I can't remember, it was, it was low. Uh, yeah, so. Anyway, it turned out pretty good. Um, one thing that was a little bit funny that I want to I want to mention to you guys is that this motherboard, as cool as it is, it doesn't have an RGB port on it, like a header. It doesn't have an RGB header, so we literally had to add an ASUS RGB header um, to the case that would run off of a USB 2.0 um, header on the motherboard, which is I don't know. This felt funny. I haven't had to do something like that in a long time. Um, Anyway, yeah, let's turn it on so you guys can see it. Uh, I think there are two power buttons. There's one here, here, I think it is, and there's one up here. I have not tried this one. Let's just see if it works. It does not. What about this one? No, that's overclock. Maybe this is something different. This is a restart button, it looks like. Maybe these buttons don't work. Maybe the computer's not plugged in. <laughs> Maybe the switch on the power supply isn't switched on. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, uh, let's try that again. There we go. Oh yeah, and because it hasn't been turned on in a while and we've like tr unplugged it and blah, 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 I think it's gonna take a few startups to get back to normal. Uh, we also probably need to top off, we're gonna let this run a lot more now that it's done. And this reservoir will probably need to be filled up quite a bit as it gets all the water and air out of the system. Um, in fact, I'm gonna release some pressure from the um, reservoir here. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here. Um, all right, yeah, it's looking good, but I feel like we're missing something. Ooh, the monitor. 
this is kind of the big surprise here, guys. Um, this is the EVGA interview dual monitor system. I don't remember how old it is. Let's see. Uh, there should be a, a year date on here somewhere. Maybe not. Uh, I might have to have Derek or myself put a thing over the screen that tells you what year it was built in. But I want to say this is at least 10 years old. Oh geez, I almost just broke it. <laughs> um, yeah, all the product information is in the back here. There's no year date, but um, let's show the camera what we had to do. We bought this a long time ago because I knew I was gonna be building an EVJ build. And I, I actually knew about this from back in the day. I think I used to buy these from EVJ as reefer when I used to work at Evertech like 15 years ago or 12 years ago or whatever it was. So we bought this and I think it worked. I don't remember. I thought we, we tested it and it was fine. But when we went to go turn it on for the, when we were done with this computer, we saw that the the barrel jack for the power, um, the AC adapter thing was like, it looked broken and we couldn't find the AC adapter. So we, we had to take a power adapter like this. This is like a universal power adapter and cut the cable and solder it to the barrel inside of the thing. And now this is just like the ghetto rig thing that we have. And then also this is, this is how you have to connect it to the computer. So you have two screens that we'll show you in a little bit here. And it, it has a, you guys probably, probably most people watching this video will be like DMS 59. I don't know what you're talking about, Alex. This, this right here is DMS 59 and it will look like a D this is DVI right here. It looks like DVI, but instead of having like a straight line like that right there, it'll have all dots. The whole thing has dots. And it was like the original like dual display, like expensive, very expensive back in the day um, for like enterprise stuff and workstations. And um, it was fancy back then. Now it's like laughed at because it doesn't make any sense. But that's what they were doing back then. And it's, I, I could be wrong, but it's almost like they may have had like a video card inside of this base that's giving your computer like an additional monitor and instead of having just one monitor it might it might be using some sort of small video card because another unknown fact about EVJ back in this this time period they were doing um usb displays so someone that had like let's just say an intel i5 2400 like hp computer and let that was that might be a bad example because that might have already done two displays like i can't remember if that cpu could do two displays or not but let's just say whatever it was this maybe it's e8400 core 2 duo and you wanted two displays without a video card you could take a usb dongle thing and plug that into the back of your motherboard and then plug a video cable into that and it was like a little micro video card just to give you two monitors so they were EVJ was doing that technology way back like 12 years ago or whatever that was and they may have integrated that into this base to make this all work um, but this was really expensive back in the day. I think these were like $600. I could be wrong. It could have been more. But I want to say that's it was in that ballpark of around $600. Um, and we tested it. It still works. We do need to get this tape residue off of it. But it's pretty cool. They're only 17-inch monitors. Um, they're not great for gaming. This was for someone to do work. And here's something that I think has aged really well. It has a webcam built in, which to me is like... It even has an adjustable thing on it, 1.3 megapixels, which would have been really good back in the, like back then. But there's so many monitors now that they could have a, a and web cameras cost like nothing these days for the manufacturer to integrate. And there's so many people doing like Zoom meetings and all this stuff that just throwing the webcam on is like it's a really good selling point in my opinion. Um, so I, I just I'm surprised that not more people are are more companies aren't doing that these days. Um, so why don't we, we're gonna cut the camera, we're gonna plug all this stuff in, we're gonna get the keyboard out, the mouse out, get the whole setup going, and come back so you guys can see it all turn on. All right. all right, here's the final result everyone. We have our EVJ PC here, and it looks pretty awesome. I think I mentioned to you guys earlier in the video that the green uh, logo Titan there is the SCAM 2080 Ti, and uh, we ended up having to go with the EK Reservoir because of the Alpha Cool pump not working or not being strong enough, so to say. And we have our monitor all working here. We got the keyboard and mouse, the X20 mouse, Z15 keyboard. I mentioned we have this play seat chair that um, I started kind of mentioning that 
this is marketed as Alcantara and um, as a sports car enthusiast I've owned a variety of sports cars that have real Alcantara and this this is not it this is fake this is not Alcantara um, so not a fan of this company here play seat uh, but yeah we're done let us know in the comments if you like the result and like I said at the beginning We'd love to hear your feedback on our build versus Linus's build, uh, which one you liked more. We will not be offended if you like their EVJ build more. It's just kind of friendly, friendly competition, so to say. Um, David versus Goliath. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's it. Uh, we'll see you on the next one tomorrow.